I am a bit of a leadership junkie. And coming into ALF, I was excited about the opportunity to learn leadership amongst a cohort of folks learning alongside me. My name is Candace Avalos. I am in class 42 of ALF, and we are here in the Verde office where I am the executive director. We're an environmental justice nonprofit that works in the Cully neighborhood, but also across the state to build environmental wealth for communities of color, low-income communities through outreach, advocacy, and social enterprise. What has been so important for me is that my ALF colleagues have been there as I'm going through hard personal times and dealing with a lot of personal life changes, but they've also been there to help move my work forward at Verde. I mean, I think one of the most powerful parts of being an ALF is also one of the most sobering parts. We've built this connection, we've built these relationships, we've built this trust, we've built this common understanding, I think, of some of the challenges that face the state and some of the challenges that face our cities and towns and some of the things that we could do collectively to change that. And within ALF, it feels so hopeful. I mean, our, because our conversations are so transparent and there's a lot of trust between us. I think that was a big, big piece. And I think too, like I'm a relationships person, so I don't have the traditional walk of leadership. I don't have the college degrees or the big titles or those kinds of things. But what I have is relationships and the people I know and I can leverage these relationships. I know the people who will vouch for me the same that I will vouch for them. Or if someone says, hey, I'm thinking about having Candace, I'm like, yeah, Candace will be great for that or Angela will be great for that. We learned some things, we read some things, but ultimately it's who we know is what is gonna benefit us the most out of this process. But I think also when it comes to relationships, especially the four of us sitting here, I think the Women of Color Caucus in our class has been really strong and it's been important for us because I think it's helped us make meaning of what we're learning and how we apply it. That's what I really love about the relationships and why it's so important because a lot of times people that were leaders who were white men, they kept the relationships to themselves and they leverage those. And I think that this is helping me understand how do you leverage a relationship, but not in a transactional way. We leverage it in a really community-minded way, strengthening us as the next class of leaders. So that's what I really enjoyed about it and learned about myself along the way, of like how much I really needed other people like me to just build my confidence, especially as a new executive director. I was very not confident <laughs> going into that, but now I feel I've gained a lot of confidence by just hearing how you all navigate the world that I'm You've also navigating. You've been doing navigating. an excellent job. Thank you, thank You've you so much. You've been doing amazing. <laughs> thank you. All of us are trying to fill in the gaps of knowledge that we don't have and build our sensitivity, our cultural competency, and our equity lens. Because ultimately, all of us are in positions where some of us are decision makers, some of us can influence decision, and leadership is hard, and that it oftentimes can feel lonely but that there is a group of people that are experiencing the same thing and that are seeking knowledge. And really racism, as we've learned, you know, can come from just pure ignorance. And I think being in this setting really helps people to have that grace to say, oh, I was really, really ignorant about that. But now that I know how it makes other people feel in their experiences, then I can be a better person. And I just realized in that moment, just the humanness of what we're all bringing to this journey. And I think that has stayed with me and it shows up in the ways that we connect outside of ALF in our real life worlds where we see each other at events and we connect on life. It has just taught me a little bit more about how do you use your relationships in a way that's not transactional, but is actually for community leadership building. And I think that those are the things I'm taking away. Even though ALF is only one year, I have created lifelong relationships with my peers that will continue to fulfill me and fill me up. And it'll also continue to complement the work that I'm doing in my community.